We are out here harvesting in our jungle of a watermelon patch. And so far we have quite a few melons that need to come out of this garden. Back here in this bush. What about? I have to walk over and show you. This is a small one, but these are going to be good for making treats out of. Which one? Come out this one over here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it ready? Like these are still, this is dried up right here. Yeah. It's probably. Oh, you did? Yeah, and it's a nice size, too. Woo! I'm going to take those tiny ones. Even if I just juice them, it'll still be good. Yeah, they probably squeeze on the what. Yeah. There's actually a couple of them sitting right here in our face. Oh, they hide. Yep. You ain't busted, are you? No. He busted? Nope, definitely ready. Still hiding up in here. They hiding. Wow. I bet it's more. I think so. This one was trying. Poor little guy just didn't make it. I don't know how sweet it's gonna be, but like I said, either we're gonna juice it or it's gonna go into the little treat box. We'll see. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. In today's video, me and Mrs. H, we have a surprise. We thought all was gone until we walked into the... Well, it's not really a surprise because we've been showing them already. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a surprise to me because I didn't know we had all this. Yeah, it's a lot of watermelon, right? It's a lot of watermelon, y'all. So, do you see, like, have a look. So, this is our second watermelon harvest right here. Mr. H has been harvesting watermelon for several weeks now yeah, yeah and so but you know we've been having a lot of rain yeah and because of the rain we got a lot of melons out there that have split yeah and so they've rot they're they've split and they're beginning to rot so all of those are just going to go to the chickens that's it yeah y'all we got um we got a lot of watermelons here yeah and see the good thing about these watermelons these watermelon have seeds they have what, Mrs. H? They have seeds. And they not rubbery. You know? They real. Real watermelon. They're not genetically modified. No, non-GMO. Right. These are an heirloom variety called strawberry watermelon. Yes. Strawberry. And they are so good, right? So, yeah, our seeds are like uh, white or tan. Some of them are white. Some of them are a little on the tannish side, you know, but don't let that alarm you i know we had some concerns in one of the recent videos where we showed the watermelon and where you know we had an issue with me eating some toxic melon and uh i was showing our watermelon and people thought this the watermelon was a, gen, a gmo because the seeds were white but no that is not the case that could not be farther from the truth these are absolute absolutely heirloom variety seeds okay and melons and we grew them organically yeah and, and, and most red watermelons have black seeds yeah they have black seeds but this is a, a different variety yeah. like she said 
And they are so delicious and rich and red and juicy. They are. <laughs> Woo! Especially when it's cold. Especially when it's cold. Yeah. Now these, some, not all of them are big and round or long or, or oblong, right? Some of them look like this because they didn't get a chance to fully grow just because it's been just so hot. And so not only hot. that, uh, we had a bad start. Yeah. As y'all remember, you know, from the uh, bad uh, black cow situation. Yeah. So we got, we had to start all over again. We, did we these, had to dig yeah. everything out. Yeah. And then we had to uh, put in brand new everything. That's right, we did. You know. Yeah. It's still working on it. It's not nowhere near done. Yeah. The only part, yeah, it's nowhere near done. We still got a long way to go, you all. But that's okay. Yeah. We were able to grow some really beautiful watermelon and i think all we did was six plants yeah right and, and if i say seven plants that's a stretch but i do want to say it was it was six at least right so it wasn't even a lot of plants and you see what we were able to get off those six plants now to answer your questions there you are sir i know that somebody's gonna say or somebody's gonna ask the question how can we grow watermelons like that right and i'm gonna tell you with this batch we did nothing special nothing special at all no we did nothing special if you remember i'm gonna post a link to a video either in the card somewhere up there or at the end of this video where i showed you all how you can literally start a small watermelon patch from nothing except digging a hole right and i'm gonna post that link to that video so that you can see if you are able to put a hole in the ground then you can do this or if you have um a 15 gallon laundry tote or tub like what you buy from the big box stores with the two handles or even on amazon they like six seven bucks you can use those to grow your watermelons in as well right but you all I know somebody's gonna ask, so please go and watch that video so you can see how you can start an instant watermelon patch. <laughs> but but this is a blessing, y'all. Yeah, yeah. This is absolutely. a blessing. This watermelon would have been at least probably this long yeah. and, and full all the way down. Yeah, it would have been bigger. But hey, hey, we, we thankful for what we get. We sure are. And these babies are gonna go in the house. Some of them will be eaten fresh and the bigger ones will probably be eaten fresh the smaller ones because i don't know if they are completely ripe but remember i keep telling y'all about this sweet treat i'm gonna show you all what i do with the smaller melons and then some of the melons i may end up just juicing them right because i'm gonna tell you the watermelon juice is so nutritious but it's also very 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 refreshing and if i juice it i can make a concentrate out of it you all and I can actually can that and put it on the shelf yeah. and make a watermelon juice. Sure it can. sounds good. I'm ready for the watermelon juice. So as you can see, y'all, we this got a, a boatload. <laughs> yeah, we got a boatload. And really, we didn't do that much work because we, we was right. like, oh, forget it. Yeah. And then, you know. And we came out one day and I was like, <gasps> wow, look at all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because of the, the, the fertilizer that we put in from the uh, chickens, you know. And, yeah. And the way how we did things, you know. And then God did the rest, Tate. Yeah, he did the rest. We did nothing else, but he did all of the rest of it. So, hey, what can you, what can we say? And you know what? <laughs> Mrs. H, this is giving me more momentum yeah. for the spring garden. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do to get prepared for that spring garden, you all. And I'm hoping that we can get it done. It's just been so hot. So it's kind of, you know, it was nearly impossible to be out here because the air was so thick. In fact, I was telling Mr. H the other day when I was out here, I'm like, I cannot even hardly breathe out here. It is so humid. The air was so thick, you know? And so it's been like that here with the rain and then after <clears throat> the rains, it gets real hot and Super you hot. can literally see the steam coming up off the ground. It was just that hot and it was just making it so humid, you know? Yeah. So, but in any case, we got a ton of watermelon that we are excited about and I'm gonna go to work on getting those processed. So if you wanna see 
how I'm going to get these watermelons put up. Because you know we're not going to eat all these watermelons. Yeah, it's going to be hard to eat all these. Yeah, we're not going to be able to eat all these watermelons. We better call our son, though, because <laughs> if we don't oh. call him. <laughs> oh, what? Well, once he find out. Oh, my God. Ooh, we better call him so he can come and get some of these melons. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Lord, we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we'll never hear the end of it. So y'all, oh, uh, Uncle Tiger, leave her alone. So y'all, I think that's it. We are very, very, very happy and grateful for the harvest. Let them see, Miss H. Oh, let me step back and let y'all see. Yeah, okay. we are very, very, very happy and excited for this watermelon harvest. Come on close. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all of that melon. Isn't that yeah, nice? Nice. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed this little video. Just showing you all like you can grow them yourselves. Make sure you find yourself some heirloom quality watermelon seed. I don't think we have very many watermelon seeds left on our seed shop. In fact, I think they're all sold out for this season. But the seed shop, you know, we'll, we'll have more seeds ready for you for the upcoming season so y'all just stay posted so that we can share that with you and i'm hoping to have enough good quality watermelon seeds to share with you all from the strawberry melon i do have quite a bit in the house already that i've been saving from the other melons so I'm hoping to be able to have some to share with you um, on the uh, um, on our little seed shop, okay? Yeah. So y'all, yeah, you can do this. And listen, the key here, if you want to make sure that you're getting a good quality seed, a good open pollinated seed when you are growing watermelon, because everybody has been talking about what's been going on with the watermelon. I did see the video done by uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, where he was talking about all of the different issues with the watermelon. A lot of you reached out to me to let me know he had done that video. And I did go over and look at it. And y'all, again, it's just unbelievable what people are dealing with when it comes to watermelon. So yeah. if you want to make sure you're getting yourself some good quality watermelon, listen, Go back and look at that video, like I told you, how to start an instant watermelon patch, okay? Get yourself some good seeds to grow your melons. And here's the thing, once you grow your melons, save the seeds, okay? It's very important. Save the seeds. Yes. You know, it's not as important to us that you keep coming back to us for seeds, right? The goal here is for you to grow your groceries. Yes. Save the seeds so that you know that what you have, you're able to plant those from year to year, knowing what you are getting, right? Knowing that when you go to harvest a watermelon or cantaloupe or honeydew, whatever it is you're harvesting, you know it is exactly that because you planted it. Yeah, right? and, and then you know it's real. Yeah. And, and hey, you know, it's, it could be a time where people stop selling real seeds in everywhere In, indefinitely you know except yeah. for a small yeah fraction of people yeah and that seed bank that they have yeah. in a vault somewhere that's not helping us none right so we're gonna have to save our own seed you all so right now is the best time to start so no you don't have to settle for fake watermelon look yeah. at this you don't have to settle for fake food yeah and, and, and this has no chemical in no. it whatsoever. No. They may be small because of, you know, what happened earlier in the season. Yeah. But this is real. This is real. And, and also, mm -hmm. you know, like when Mrs. H told me to throw the watermelon away. And I, I tried to discard the watermelon. So I was playing with it and I threw it up because it felt funny. And it bounced. And it bounced. You know? And, bounced. And... It bounced on like three or four tries. Yeah. I tossed it up in the air. Yeah. And it came down and bounced again. I'm like, this is I forgot is to crazy. tell y'all about that part because remember, I was not well. So I didn't see him when he was trying to get rid of the watermelon. But when he tested it, like what he just said, I forgot to tell y'all that in that video. Yeah. yeah. That he did bounce the thing and it wouldn't even burst. Every, I, I, I got 
three watermelons from the old man. Yeah. I trusted him. I'm thinking that. Yeah, you and know, we still do because we know that it wasn't like his it, fault. It wasn't him. Yeah. Somebody probably passed it on to him and said, hey, get these to your friends or whatever. Yeah. And so he gave me the watermelon. He gave some more people the watermelon. Yeah. And um, strange enough, <laughs> next day, five people didn't show up for work. And I ain't ask why, but I like yeah. that. That's kind of strange. Yeah. You know, but and, we hadn't cut our melons at that time either. Yeah. Because so, ours was still on the floor. And I was like, where yeah. is everybody at? Everybody was like, wow, we got five, like a five main guys that didn't show up that normally yeah. would be there. Yeah. And so she told me she ate the melon that I got from the old man. And uh, she said, look, flies won't even get on this melon. Yeah. So I got the melon. I tossed it up in the air. And first I tossed it without throwing it up. And it bounced. I'm like, that's strange. And then I did it again. And it bounced. Then I tossed it up in the air. And it, it bounced. Didn't bust. And I had to throw it way up in the air for it to finally hmm. bust. Yeah. And all three of the uh, melons did the same thing. Wow. But with our watermelon, they busting on their own because you, too you, much water. You, you hear the crispiness in our melons when yeah. you put the knife in. Yeah. Uh-oh, hold on. You hear that crispiness when you put the knife in to cut the melons open. You, It sounds like a watermelon is supposed to sound. Yeah. On the video that um, Doug posted on his channel, on their channel, Someone showed where literally the watermelon, you can literally just peel the watermelon rind away from the so-called melon itself. And you know you can't do that with no watermelon. That's you true. know, so you all, I'm telling you, if you want to make sure you're getting real food, um, you know, the fact of the matter is, and I don't know how you're going to do it, but the fact is, if you want to be certain, you're going to have to grow it yourself. Yes, you are. Or you're going to have to get it from someone you trust who's growing it themselves. But these options of going to the market thinking you're getting a good quality product, I'm afraid those days are probably just about long gone. So we're gonna have to start right now planning for the future. Yes, we are. A future that looks real, real dark. We're yeah. gonna have to start planning for a future because if you wanna depopulate the people, the best way to do it is through the water and through the food. Okay, you all? So, that's it. That's going to do it for Homestead Heart. Damn! We got to keep our energy up. We got we to gotta go full throttle now. Yeah. We got to go get full throttle. I'm going to and wash them up. And so, I'm going to tell y'all, like, some of them in here. Now, the bigger ones, it's some bigger ones in here. It's some big ones in here. There's a big one right here. And they're under the bottom. Whoop. They're under the bottom. That's a nice size melon too. Yeah. So I'm excited to get in here and cut these melons open and see what these melons are looking and tasting like y'all. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like, I need to back up. If you like the video, like, I feel like I'm like right all up in their face like this. <laughs> but in any case, you all, if you like the video, like the video, give it a thumbs up thumbs share up, with your friends on your social media platforms you all all of the watermelon out here in these watermelon streets <laughs> is not uh, uh, rubber right some of the melons are real and the ones that are real are the ones that we are growing ourselves okay and we are getting to the point now where like the seeds that we have on our farm who that is oh hey Grizzy the seeds that we have on our farm you all that's what we're gonna be growing every year yep that's what we're gonna be growing every single year okay hey buddy how you doing you needed a whoop this is what we're gonna be working with y'all we're gonna be working with seeds that's straight off the farm yeah. And we're going to be, you know, like, we're going to stay engaged with, with y'all, with the seed shop. We're going we gonna to do what we got to do to make sure we got more seeds yeah. available. That's right. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for today's video. That, bit, that thing, like, it's got a hole in it. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. 
Oh, no. I'm gonna have to throw this one away. You have to give it to the chicks, babe. This is a nice big one, though. But it's oh, okay, man. though. man. Yeah. Some, some. It's just something. It's, it's, look, you got te look, you got two teeth marks right here. Yeah. Look at there. You got two teeth marks right there. You see that? What you think did that? A rabbit? Yeah, a rabbit. Yeah. What is Ooh. <laughs> That's gonna do it for today's video, y'all. But we, hey, we, we stand another chance. It's rabbit season. Yeah. <laughs> we stand a, another chance to grow our own grocery. Yeah, that's right, y'all. So save those seeds so you can start doing just that, okay? Even if your melon is small, it, as long as the seeds are viable, you can do like a seed germination test on them. You know, plant so, you know, I, I always say plant about 20 seeds or so and see what your germination looks like on those, okay? And if they germinate well, if they germinate well, especially if you get a 80% germination rate on those, those are worth saving. Take those seeds, even if it's just 70%, I would still save them, yeah. right? But save those seeds, you all, so you all can grow your food in the future. Don't take it for granted, okay? None of your seeds. Don't from your bell peppers, from your peppers, from your tomatoes. Don't take none of them for granted. Okra, if you're growing okra, save all save the them. seeds. You Let can. some of them look. Choose a plant or two that you're gonna sacrifice and let it go to seed. Just let it stay on the plant until the plant dies. Okay? Move air. He's, he's not gonna come over here because Grizzly over here. You know Grizzly gonna be rumbling. Yeah. He be like, uh-uh, don't come over here. It's my hug time. <laughs> hey, Moo. But y'all, save the seeds. Don't take those seeds for granted, okay? All right, y'all. I think that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you like the video, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. That is, that's it, right? That's going to do it, y'all. Right. And you know I got to say yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, y'all. We ate. Hey. We got to do what we got to do. That's right. So thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings. <laughs> to each and every one of you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. And remember, y'all, say it, Gwizzy. Say it. Grow say your it. own groceries. Say it, Gwizzy. <laughs> Grow your groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Grow your own groceries, y'all. Move on. Hey, Moo. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Grizzly not over here. You ain't got to be worried about him. You get love, too. You get love too? Who Grizzly think he is? He don't run nothing. He don't run nothing, Moo. Look at these chickens. They enjoying that watermelon. Look at them. They picking it clean. Picking it clean. Look at there. Picking it clean. And then right here on the ground, they have passion fruit growing everywhere. Our chickens love passion fruit. And once it starts getting that beautiful aroma, Y'all, they eat that passion fruit. They pick those vines clean. You hear me? Pick it clean. So it's awesome how the passion fruit is growing over here. The vines just keep running and the chickens don't bother it. They don't. It's like they wait for the passion fruit to ripen so that they can enjoy it. Oh, kitty, where you going? Um, Leopold. No. No, no. Come on down from there. <laughs> them chickens going to tear your little self up. No.